<laughs> There'll probably be a couple of trick questions I have to admit. So um, it says draw both chair conformations of trans 1,3-dimethyl cyclohexane. Indicate their relative energies by the uh, reaction arrow, the equilibrium arrow, and circle the more stable of the two conformers. Okay? So it says trans 1,3-dimethyl. So everybody draw what it would look like in bond line form. It's the first step. And again, I like to put wedges first. You don't have to. But that's what trans 1,3-dimethyl would look like, OK? OK, so now what do we want to do? We want to convert that to chair. chair structure, right? So get good at drawing your chair um, skeleton like that. And then remember, we want to label our carbons, one, two, so we know where we want to put them over here. I like to start here on carbon one. So this one, so sorry, the next thing we do is indicate what? The, well, first, before we do that, we have to say up and down, right? Okay, so up and down. So now we know where to put them over here, right? So I like to put this as carbon one. So since Carbon one methyl group is up. Where are we going to put it here? Uh, up. up, and it's going to be in the axial position. Okay. So if you're having trouble, remember the arrow is kind of pointing up. I know it's not. It's kind of more pointing this side, but that's how we like to look at it. So should we write? What did we say? We said axial up. Should we write that down here? Notice, up, up, right? Doesn't change. What about here? Three is going to be down, and over here, one, two, three. It's going to be equatorial. It's going to be equatorial down, right? Because axial is up there, right? So the hydrogen would be there. This is going to be parallel to that line there or that line there, right? So the methyl group is going to be, what did we say? So, come. Equatorial. Equatorial. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just going to show general equilibrium arrows. We can change them later if necessary. And what is that showing? We're going to have to now show the ring flipped, right? So what's this methyl group going to be? Where is it going to be? If it's this here, it's going to be up, right? And where are we going to put it? Here? No. Where? There. OK. So And it's going to be parallel to that bond there. And what did we say again? It was what? So again, notice. The up didn't change when we ring flip. It's just the equatorial axial changes. And then three, so one, two, three, right? equatorial down here, so it's going to be what? Axial down. Axial down here. Second question it asked. What is the relative energy and which is the more stable? So which is the more stable of these two structures? This one or this one? Why are they the same? Why would you say that? Either one you have an axial and an equatorial. Yeah, so we have they're both methyl groups, right? So since in this one we have one methyl group uh, equatorial and one methyl group axial. In this one, we have one methyl group axial and one methyl group equatorial. They would be equivalent energies. Okay, so the, neither one of these is more stable than the other one. 
and to say the relative energies, well, our equilibrium error will be equivalent. Okay? So it's so compare this one to the last one we did, the um, cis 13 cyclohexane. Go back and forth, watch the two videos together. Okay, any other questions on this one? Wonderful. Much faster.